Hey guys, welcome back to Epic Gangsta Tales. I know I've been away for a little bit, um, but I'm back, baby, I'm back. And uh, today we got a good episode for you guys. We're gonna keep it light. Just a quick little one. We're gonna shoot back out to uh, a favorite favorite place of mine, Philly, the Philly mob, Nikki Scafo to be exact. Um, let's go ahead and get into the story because this is a, this is a crazy one, okay? So, back in 1970, Nikki Scafo approached Municipal Judge Edwin Helfont of Atlantic City, New Jersey to help get a light bid for Scafo pal Nick the Blade Virgilio, who was facing a murder beef at the time. Um, Nikki Scafo offered up and actually paid Helfont who had come through for Scafo in the past on little things like this. Um, so Scafo paid Vigilio an amount of $12,500 in cash. And, um, you know, Vigilio was supposed to, you know, come through with, with the pals he had on the bench to get a light sentence for Nick the Blade. Um, you know, and eventually what ended up happening was, um, you know, Vigilio there got a 12 to 15 year sentence, right? A complete ripoff on two of the most dangerous men that have ever been in and around the Philadelphia mob, point blank period. Um, you know, and, <laughs> you know, most people would look at that and be like, well, 12 to 15 on a murder beef is it's kind of sweet, you know what I mean? But at the same time, when, when you know, the hope can, can be a killer when you're expecting something, you know, and then boom, you get hit with a, you know, maybe the hottest, the harshest penalties you could get, you know, or he was expecting, Nick the Blade. Um, so anyways, yeah, he made two enemies out of Scafo and Vigilio. And, uh, you know, on, uh, on the evening of... February 15th, 1978. Um, Helfond was out to eat with his wife, um, and they were seated at the cocktail lounge of Atlantic City's Flamingo Hotel. When a man walked in with a ski mask on his face, a man on a mission, witnesses said he walked right to Vigilio and his wife, produced a revolver, and proceeded to put five slugs into Eddie Helfont's head, um, killing him on the spot. And, uh, you know, our, our masked bandit was none other than Nick the Blade Vigilio. You know, uh, that's how serious these guys were. That the, This was, you know, the audacity that Scafo and, and, and his buddy Nick the Blade had to go and, and whack out a judge. You know what I mean? Um, just a very, very powerful little man, you know what I mean? Like, a little man that carried the big stick, and that was Nicky Scafo, you know? Vigilio was really kind of just like a, a, you know, a good old pal, liked to drink, liked to, you know, was always in trouble, um, you know, and even Scafo debated whacking him at one point, you know what I mean? If you read the excellent book Mafia Prince by Scott Bernstein, I'm a big fan, I love that book, I love all of Scott's work. Um, I think he's excellent. He covers that with, uh, you know, when, when the drinking got out of hand, he, uh, he, you know, I think Leonetti was able to sway him from whacking out Virgilio because Scafo just wanted to whack anybody that got out of line. I mean, look at, um, you know, Salvi Testa there, you know what I mean? I mean, that's just disgusting what, what happened to that kid. I mean, that kid put it all on the line. And you know what, like... Um, that was just a move out of jealousy, you know what I mean? Which is never, it never looks good on a man to to uh, to act out of jealousy or, or, or really show that, you know what I mean? Like, if most most men will look at that like weak, you know what I mean? Like, we all we all have feelings, we all have that. Doesn't mean we gotta go kill somebody every time, you know? You know, <laughs> you're jealous or, or something doesn't go your way like these two, you know? Um, and Scaffold's reign fo followed in that suit, you know what I mean? Um, that was back in 1978. Scaffold didn't become boss till about uh, 81, 82, you know? Um, and it was just crazy. I just wanted to uh, get back in the swing of things today and uh, give you a good little story. And I mean, what what better one than that? You know, uh, Nicky Scafo and Nick the Blade whack out a municipal judge in Atlantic City, right in one of the most popular hotels there was, the Pink Flamingo, you know, uh, masked up 
you know, got away with it. Nick the Blade was eventually brought down in the uh, the big sweep there in uh, 1987. Um, Scaffo and Co. went down. Virgilio went with them. Um, I think he got like 45, 50 year sentence. Virgilio, um, but in 1995, God would take action, and uh, Virgilio passed away of a heart attack in federal prison. Um, so nobody wins. You know, we always say these things at, at the end of the videos. I try to, uh, you know, give some words of encouragement, stuff like that. Um, crime never pays. All these stories end the same way with people deceased or go into prison for the rest of their lives not to mention what they do to the victims families and all that stuff it's uh it's devastating stuff you know what i mean so i don't condone any of this um but definitely a exciting and a uh, a scary story you know like these guys were that confident that good that they could go whack the judge and get away with it for uh, a decade you know <laughs> walking around like you know, I wouldn't mess with those two, you know what I mean? Especially after that, you know what I mean? Like, that seals it. Just certified nut stuff, you know? Um, but anyways, it's always good to talk about stuff in Philly. I, I love it. I love it. Um, very similar to Boston. Very similar places. But anyways, it's good to be back, guys. Um, I'll see you next week. I'm trying to get back into swaying things and do a video a week. Um, but, but yeah, like, comment, share, and, uh, most importantly, subscribe, guys. Uh, take care.